hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel welcome or welcome back if you're new here or if you are not i've never said that and i'm so happy to say that <gasps> okay whatever so today i have been doing a lot of stuff i've been from the last YouTube short I did was come along and join me to do some knitting with me. So as you can probably tell from that last short, I've picked up knitting, which is one of my favorite things to do in my self time, like in my spare time, except for going playing with my friends on the bike. But it's fun for me to do it in my spare time. So, yes, I'm going to show you guys what I have. And then I'm going to give you guys a quick close up. So, this bag has nothing in it because I've taken everything out from this bag into another bag. No, well, it's not really another bag. But this little tote bag is made for my projects that I have not finished, but that I am working on closer and closer to getting finished. So, I'm, you can probably tell if I have this bag out that I'm working on a progress, then I'm having progress with it. So, first of all, I have these knitting needles. So, these knitting needles are so perfect for me. I love absolutely love using these so easy to grab and take off grab slide off so so easy to do this so cool and then these needles are an eight as you can see from the ends so you know, get it the right way needles are an eight both of them are an eight which way are they yeah, they're upside down. Both of them are an eight. So these are my absolute favorite needles to use because they're amazing and I think they're gorgeous and I love using them. So I have my needles, of course. So my project that I'm working on is a blanket. So I'm working on a blanket and these are the colors to the blanket. It's blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow. So these are my colors to the blanket. At the end I'll show you the way I want them to go and then like a full close up of all the wool and stuff like that. So. And I'm like, why do they have these little end bits? that and this but whatever I guess it's to do with the process so yeah this is what I'm working on is a blanket right so my will for starters okay what is that? Yes. so my will for starters would be Something like around a medium sized one with an 8mm hook like this big. Don't make it any more chunkier than this. Well, my nanny brought this up from England. So, 8mm hooks or 8m, it could be. 8 hooks. Oh. Like, it's kind of like crochet hooks, kind of. Well, these are needles. These aren't really hooks, but it's like you have to get the measurements for them on the bottom of them. So this is like an eight millimeter. I don't know. Eight millimeter? Is that large? Be the size of a crochet hook. Okay. No, I don't care. Eight centimeter. Just eight. Eight. And the eight knitting hooks, knitting hook, an eight knitting hook, and 
two eight knitting hooks. They should come in a pack together. But Nan got this up from England. So these would probably be different because it's England. And then compared to ours in Edinburgh. Well, compared to mine because I live in Edinburgh, Scotland, you know. So yeah. These are the two sticks that Nanny brought up for me, which I think are the easiest sticks for me to use. They're so helpful. So good. So, yes, I'd use about a medium around size of wool that I'm working on my project with. Um, work around a medium size. I wouldn't go too much further than this if you're just a beginner knitter. Or the wools I'm going to be showing you. I wouldn't go too much further than that. But if you are a beginner crocheter, don't come onto this video because I have absolutely no idea about crochet. So don't come onto this video if you are a crocheter because I have no idea. Well, if you're wanting to start up your crochet journey, I have no idea what to use, what sticks to use. But all I know is use the easiest wool that you would find working with easier. And if you're still a beginner crocheter, use the big fluffy wool. That's all I gotta say to beginner crocheters. So yeah, that's the medium sized wool, but there's three more medium sized wool. So the first one is from Baby Dream DK Elephant. And it's a nice pink. <laughs> Nice pink, I love this one. It's gorgeous. My favorite part about it is like the elephant right there and then the little walks around it, which is super duper cute. I love it. So yes, I got this one. I don't have, I have two more. No, I don't have two more, but I have this white one from Baby care it's so cool i love the fluffiness it's so nice it's so good for texture i just love this one love 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 it it's gorgeous so this is it so this is it it's actually quite sore if you whack someone with it to be honest let me try it with a bit of force ends up just being soft so yeah i heard some noises coming from my face if you guys heard that then you know noise okay whatever so yes this is from baby care then this one is from baby care might look like the exact same pink but trust me it's not there's a complete difference i'll put them close up to the camera like this is like a peachy pink then we have a white and a baby pink you can probably already tell from here but here's a close up to the camera yes you can tell there's a big difference well this is not big it's not a big big difference but it's a difference to the pink so yeah that is absolutely everything and this bag i'm keeping my wool in here because i don't have a big container and i'm going over to dublin so it's best if i just stay put with the bag because if i'm going over to dublin soon and i'll be getting more wool so it's best if i know how much wool i have before i get a tub so yeah yeah, I'm going over to Dublin, the place where I put that haunted video out. Yeah, you guys might have forgotten about that, but there was a haunted video. And we put that out. It was a while ago. But. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's so long. Yeah. I'm going to show you absolutely everything in a close up. So, let me just get to it. So you guys, I have just finished organizing all of this out, and it's looking so good, so perfect. I need to somehow 
switch the cameras on this, but I can't, so I'm just going to have to oop, go like that. So, this is the close-up of, well, it's not really, that's a close-up. That's a close-up. I have, well, it's not really a close-up. Everything I have for my knitting journey. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was only a 10 minute video. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe. Because you're not. Bye.